G'day and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to chuck that into that. This you crazy mother... Well, sitting in there, sort of go back a little bit more. I just um, rolled the cowl back because I don't have room because it was hitting on here, the bell housing. And we have to come back. Now, I've been told by a reliable source that you'll fit the V8 gearbox to a Model A differential, and it looks like it's gonna work. We're gonna find out. I've never done this before, believe it or not. I've never done the uh, V8 conversion on a Model A, so this is a first for me, but it's not rocket science. We'll push this back a little bit. It's hard to film and do that at the same time. Um, we'll, it's a bit rusty in there, but we'll I'll see if I can get it in there a little bit and we'll get the engine in position. And then we'll be able to work out what we've got to cut it out of the, the firewall. So I don't know if it's going to be much. That's not original. I'll replace that because this was cut out when I got it. Like I had a big, a big gas axe thing cut out of it. I made this when I first built it. So that's recessed a little bit. It might be enough. We'll see how we go. If not, we might have to recess it a bit more. No big deal. But we'll get the engine back and see what happens. One bit there. Yeah, a little bit of magic spray. Maybe I should have done this first. I don't know how much of that went inside. Yep, it works. The cup on this side is misaligned, but that doesn't matter. This normally has a hook. This has been ground off for some reason. And it's like a catch for when you take it all apart. It catches the, um, the torque tube on this chassis here. Um, someone's ground it off at some stage, but there's no big deal. So that can be set, set offset. We can trim that up, make it work. Um, now, as far as the front engine mounts go, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some plates in here with some G-clamps. Um, we'll sit the engine in position, we'll work out how it's all going to work out, and then I can make up some mounts. Now, what I was thinking of doing, I don't know if it'll fit between the chassis rails, actually, though. 
now I'm thinking about it, I've got a floater motor kit, which is these guys, these mounts. Um, I was wondering if I can turn them upside down. Depends how much room. I think they're the full width, because that's, what's that? Four inches down to probably three inches there, so they might not fit unless I can trim them up. I mean, it's no big deal making them up. I probably, you know what, I might not sacrifice these if I've got to cut them up or make up some, but if I can bolt them in, hey, bolt in engine mounts and I'm ready to go. Now also, the general consensus is you can't use your Model A steering box when you do the conversion. Um, like I told you before, this is my first one. So I'm going to find out for myself why you can't and show you guys on the process. If, you, if I can, I will, but I don't know. I've been told you can't. Have you uh, checked out my F1 build while you're here? So I'm building this as well as the model A down in the shed. Um, I came across a hiccup the other day with a flywheel, but it looks like I've got it sorted out. Um, but you need to check that one out on the F1 build episodes. Yeah, it's night time, and I haven't worked in the night for ages because it's been too cold, but it's a beautiful mild night, and it turned spring the other day. So I've got a burst of energy, so I thought I'd come down to the shed, do a little bit on this beast. And um, yeah, so we're in here now. It's good. It's nice. It's actually a really nice temperature at the moment. We're in. We're sitting there anyway. The thing that surprises me actually is how much um, the suspension hasn't compressed with that big old motor sitting in there. I thought it would have been a lot lower than that. I can fit my whole hand in there easily. But the good thing about it is I can get this a lot lower just by mucking around with a spring, reverse eye it, a couple of leaves out. Um, I still probably will put a dropped axle in it. We'll see how we go. But yeah. AV8. I might um, chop some of this firewall out, eh? So we can stick the cow back up. I'm seeing room we've got starter motor goes in there and we also have manifold that goes in here and then your steering box I'm seeing room but I might be wrong I'm not going to do any more today because it's getting a little bit late now and I've got to carry on and I'm going to go and have some and chill out that is heaps for me today it's been a, what, an hour or so just mucking around with this and um, we've got the motor dummied up in there sitting there and that's a big step if all those fails, I have a 46 steering box set up already, and that was the mount for that. So I can I can run the 46 steering um, and run cross steer instead of side steer if I want to. So, but if I could run the Model A box, I will. Tell me in the comments. Go for it. Someone has done this before. I think more than once. So yeah, but regardless, I'm going to show you why it doesn't fit if it doesn't fit and if we can get it to fit i'm always going to show you how we did that so anyhow that's it from me stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff i'm pretty stoked with this this is cool this is really cool anyway stay tuned for the next one i'll catch you later mm, curry